What's up everybody? It's Jasmine. It is snowing, I think. At first it was just like icy rain, but now I think it's properly snow. So that's pretty cool. I'm out here running. Okay, so the thing is that I think it was near my birthday. After my birthday, I had a gas gastroscopy, okay, where they like go down and then they like take a little snippet of your down here area then they send it off for tests it was fine there's nothing wrong with me I guess I just got anxiety you know what I mean um, but ever since then or at least the first month afterwards when I would feel hungry I'd feel like so much pain in my stomach and it was just like really upsetting for me because I haven't necessarily talked about it a lot but uh, I do have a history of eating disorders and so for me that was really difficult and also since my 25th birthday I've like gone up like two to three kilos which isn't a lot I mean I'm uh, I'm on the lower end I was I'm usually underweight most of the time just by a little bit so it's not like dangerous but um so you know these things combined have really upset me because in the past people would tell me that like when I get older I'm gonna get fat so then every time I get older I'm like is it gonna happen now you know and so I've just been feeling really like I guess you'd say triggered or whatever um, and very recently I've been having a very negative body image you know feeling like I look like my legs look really big and stuff which I know that they probably don't you know but it's hard to It's hard to really know, you know, especially when you're in that place. So anyway, then the next issue is, is that I haven't been, I wouldn't say I haven't been as active, but you know, usually I would go walking, you know, I love walking, I just think it's so much fun, like you walk fast and then like your thoughts come and like it's really exciting, you know, like I, I have my best fantasies when I'm walking, I come up with like these ridiculous ideas about you know planets and things like that you know it's very exciting for me but I just haven't had the time recently because I had my art exhibition I've been working tired you know winter um, and so I just haven't had the time to do my walking um, and so now I'm in a relationship so I feel like I have even less time and I feel like that means that this walking which is therapeutic is then not getting done which means that I'm probably feeling even more anxious about my body and things like that so my solution possible solution because it might be a really bad idea is that I have decided to take up jogging but not jogging jogging my plan is to like go out jog for 15 minutes and then come back inside because that would be like the same amount of energy as if I went for a walk for an hour you know for probably not as much but you know if I go out 15 minutes twice a day then you know it would be like the same amount of energy um, so that would be like my normal walking routine except then I would have uh, the time to do it you know I would actually have the time to go and get the exercise which would help me mentally which might help me not get into like an eating disorder situation um, but the problem is is that it could also be a really bad idea because um, my more recent relapse it wasn't really a relapse it, it kind of was it was for me emotionally it was was when my grandma was dying of cancer and then I would go out running for like uh, an hour every day and um, for me, I know that that was a way of me like <sighs> avoiding the feelings because then instead of being sad about grandma dying of cancer, then I would be like, Jasmine, you can do better this time. You better go out and you better run and you better do all the stuff. So I know that it can be something that I can abuse in that way. And so I don't want that to happen. But I do think that me not exercising is contributing to my 
uh, pattern of negative thoughts. Not because I'm like, oh Jasmine, you're not necessarily more, but more of like a um, anxiety is not being released, and also my thoughts have been uh, not really coming out as much because my thoughts do come out really well when I go walking. Yeah, so that's kind of my plan, but I'm also really aware that it could be a really awful plan. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that because because I think that it'll be really interesting if it does turn out that it was a really bad idea, then I can tell you guys and be like, hey guys, that was a really bad idea. And then it'll be like feedback and it'll be a way to remember to not do that again in the future. Obviously, in the future, if I do have more time to do my walking, then I'll switch to that uh, because it's definitely a lot more of a safe option for me in terms of exercise. <laughs> um, but I don't really see when I would have the time to go walking again because I do have a lot more art projects on the horizon and that takes a lot of time sitting at home drawing and things like that. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thanks to you guys for listening. I hope it like made sense and you, guys can, you know appreciate the life difficulties. Anyway, I'm really excited about the snow. I'm hoping it's gonna stay. And I love winter in Sweden, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. I will catch you guys all next time. My fingers are freezing. Is that how you say it? My fingers are freezing. Yeah, that's, 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 yep. <laughs> that's, that's what people say. Okay, anyway, see you guys all next time. Hey, doll.